Police in Kenya's Bomet County are still searching for clues into the mysterious murder of popular Kalenjin musician Diana Chemutai Musila, better known as Chelele. Chelele's body was found in a Kapkwen home in Bomet this morning. As Katie's Timothy Otino now reports, the neighbors are puzzled as her home had been deserted for days only for her body to turn up there at dawn. Shocked residents of Kapkwen village in Bomet town gather outside the home of one they considered a legend in these parts. The life of a young ambitious lady cut short by the clasps of death. A tragedy that no one here seems to understand quite fully. <laughs> Diana Chemutai Musila, better known by her stage name Chelele, was found Saturday morning. Her lifeless body outside a home that most villagers say was rather deserted for a while. The death many here believe raising more questions than answers for a lady most say was a pillar of hope for her peers. Tumeshikwa na mshangao siku ya leo kupata muimbaji wetu mashauri hameuliwa. Na tuna tunaimisa serikali wafuatilie wachunguze kabisa kwa sababu watu wamechulikana kama hawa wakiuliwa ni pigo kubwa kwetu tunasema pole na tunaomba serikali watusaidie na uchunguzi kamili tupate ni nani anaua huyu mwenzetu mwimbaji prior to her death the singer had released a number of tracks among them igaigayan my beer my work as well as chelele binti osama we think that uh, the stage was sort of uh, stage managed. Uh, we are we are trying to look for a lead to see exactly what might happen. What might what might have happened? On October the third last year, Chelele was admitted at the Nakuru General Hospital after she allegedly attempted to commit suicide. The renowned secular singer was reportedly found unconscious at a hotel in Nakuru after a performance in Eldoret earlier that day. The singer's marital problems were well known to the people here, with Diana filing for divorce some time last year. And some believe her death could be tied to her rocky relationship with her husband. Hii inaonekana kwamba hii ilikuwa kitu yenye ilikuwa imepangwa. Ilikuwa tumeambiwa kwamba walikuwa wamekosana na wanawake. Kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali ichue uh, ingilie kati. Alafu tuambie kwamba hii maneno ilifanyika ili namna gani. Chelele leaves behind a pair of twins. Her body has been taken to the Longisa mortuary for a post-mortem. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.